Now, with the new government in the White House, there is increasing debate over whether Washington's approach to Beijing will soften. Many argue the Biden administration may continue many of Trump's policies that saw bilateral ties fall to its lowest in over four decades. But some hold a more positive view. CGTN's Sun Ye has the details. One week into Joe Biden's presidency, a new reality for China-U.S. ties could be settling in. The Chinese ambassador to the U.S., Trey Tiankai, says the relationship stands now at a critical point and advises Washington to steer clear of the previous administration's policies. In the past few years, some people tried to deny these basic facts by creating rumors stoking hatred and fanning confrontation. They attempted to hijack America's China policy and push China-U.S. relations down the precipice of confrontation. This has seriously damaged the fundamental interests of the two peoples and is doomed to failure. Tsui says he anticipates a return to normalcy in bilateral relations through a return to mutual trust. China and the United States need cooperation, not fighting. Both China and the United States gain from cooperation and lose from confrontation. Cooperation is the only right option. It has been proved time and again that when China and the United States cooperate, we can get things done. The Chinese ambassador is not alone to anticipate changes for the better. The relationship has, has deteriorated a little bit in the last several years, but with um, the election of President Biden, um, although there will be lots of tension between the two countries, I think they, we've hit bottom and we're going to start to rise and put things back together again. The former U.S. ambassador to China suggests Biden take small steps, like reopening the consulate shut down by the Trump administration. The ambassadors are speaking at a panel to mark the 42nd anniversary of the re-establishment of China-U.S. diplomatic ties. And there was a general sense of optimism that the two countries are now ready to work together in the future. Sun Ye, CGTN, Beijing.